Guys, I'm at Chinatown Main Am. So I'm just gonna walk through this Chinatown. I was here before, but it was very quiet, but now obviously it's much, much more busy. So, let's see. safely before I get killed. So this is pretty much Chinatown. Mainam Chinatown. Well this is gonna end to the beach. I've been here before. So I'm gonna go to the beach and I'll show you guys the beach. Well, it's very quiet like before. I'm sure for those people that have been to this island, they know it's just life starts after three, four o'clock. Uh, usually now it's like 11 o'clock in the morning, so nothing happens. You know, as before it's very quiet, but I'm sure at night it gets more busy. Hello, how are you? You see guys, people are so friendly here, man. It's just like lovely. That's why I love this island. There's another restaurant here. There's a bar. So, there's a lot of French restaurants here or French owners because I was staying in Mainham somewhere and the owner was French. Oh. When I was here last time it was a construction of this White House. So now it seems to me it's finished. So probably the view up there is going to be beautiful. I'm glad that I came. Yeah, I saw the construction. Like I was here like six, seven months ago. I was staying in Maine. And I was keep walking around here. And I saw this white house. It was under renovation, under constructions. So now it seems to be finished. Lovely. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk up there and take a look at the view of this beautiful island. Oh. Let's first take a few pictures here. Wow, they did a good job with this. Look at this, guys. It's much, much more busy than when I was here. This island is getting busy every day. I 
and, I'm, uh, and also I'm gonna show you guys the resort that I was staying in Maine. It's called Pinnacle, I, I guess, Pinnacle Resort, if I'm not wrong. It is a nice resort, to be honest with you. There's a lot of bungalows and the hotels. I was staying at the bungalows and it was very slow. So even the upgrade me to the nicest one. But the breakfast, it was, you know, obviously there's no huge breakfast culture here. So it's just everywhere is the same. So the breakfast, it wasn't fantastic, pretty much a lot of processed cheese and stuff like that. But you know, what are you gonna do? At least I was getting fresh, uh, you know, cup of coffee and eggs and stuff like that. So this is a view of this Chinatown, Mainland Chinatown from this White House. Definitely, this is not safe for kids. But it's crazy here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, probably I have to take my sneakers off and walk all the way to the end of the beach. Okay guys, I took my stickers off and I'm going for a walk at this beautiful beach in Mainland and it's busy, it is busy. But when I was here, it was very quiet, obviously it was off season. Last time when I was staying in Mainland. some sort of construction going on here. Yeah. I don't know if this is a private house or going to be a hotel. There's a lot of bungalows here by the beach. Well, the honestly, Maine, I'm a little bit far and there's not much going on here. So in aspect of nightlife and stuff like that. But it, it is a very relaxing beach. I stayed here, I believe like over 10 days or maybe two weeks. And I'll show you guys my resort towards the end of this beach. And it is really relaxing because it's not crowded, it is not busy. But unfortunately you have to just stay in the resort, there's not much you can do. 
So make sure you need to rent the bike so you can go to different places. But in terms of, you know, if you want to come and just relax for one week, yeah, perfect place, really. resort here that has access to the beach so a lot of bungalows and a lot of villas here so it is a nice location but just a little bit far from central uh, Samui but a lot of people are, I'm, I'm assuming a lot of people they don't want to be even in the central of Samui There is a bar in the end of this uh, beach and it was next to my hotel that I was staying a long time ago. So what I'm going to do, hopefully they are open so I can have some kind of fresh juice or fresh coconut and relax a little. surprised being and it's extremely beauty when I was staying here only individual that I was walking the beach it was me but now it's so easy See, there's a lot of bungalows here. 
and all of them easy access to the beach. So if you don't mind to be a little bit far from center, but if you want to stay in the nice beach with easy access to the beach, so Mainam is the perfect one. Guys, I just saw this again very funky bar and restaurant in Mainam. Hello, how you doing? How are you? <laughs> so I thought to show you guys. Oh thank you. It looks nice. Probably I can take a picture even. Oh, there is another pier here. I don't know if this one goes to Suratani or not. I'm gonna ask because on this 12, I, I have to go to, on January 12, I have to go to Suratani. So I don't know if this one only goes to uh, Kupangan and Kutau, but there is nothing wrong to ask. I was staying at this hotel. I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't know if it was this one or a second one. But there's another one looks like this one. No, I guess it wasn't this one, so probably it's after that pier. Mayna. Oh. People just arrived, I guess, either from Kupangan or Kutau. I don't think this speedboat goes very far. I guess it goes to either Kupangan or Kutau only. But anyway, I'm gonna double check to see if, if I can go from here to Suratani. A lot of people waiting here. Probably most of these people going to either Kupangan or Kuta. Well, you know what? I'm gonna ask. Holy shit! Look at this lineup. Okay, I just find out, even from here I can go to Suratani with the speedboat, but only twice a day. One is 8.30 in the morning and the other option is 2.30. So it's just limited option and goes with the speedboat. Oh gosh, look. It is really busy. A lot of people going to eat at Kupangan or Kuta. Most of the people.
but from Nathan, I was reading online, it just ferry goes every hour. So probably that's gonna work for me much, much better because I don't want to limit myself to two options. So ah, no, 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 my hotel was here. I'll show you guys now. So I'm very close to my resort that I was staying. And if I'm not wrong, it's called Pinnacle Resort. So it is nice. It is all the way to the end of this beach. There's something up there with Thailand flag. Probably I'm gonna walk all the way up there. Probably if I go up there, there's a beautiful view there. Yeah, this is my hotel. This is the one, guys, I was staying. This is the one. Uh, it is so busy and the price is very reasonable so if you want to be in budget price is very reasonable especially off season is re really fantastic and as i said comes with the swimming pool they have two options like few different type of bungalows and the hotel so a hotel is like three floors teeny tiny and uh, this is the one that was a thing yes It is all the way to the end of the beach. And there is a famous bar right here in the end. Like there is a very good review about this bar. And I'm just walking there and hopefully it is open so I can get some kind of fresh juice or coconut or something. And hopefully I can walk up there somehow. You see the flag right there? I don't know what it is, but somehow I want to go up there. This is the bar. I've been here before just to grab a drink. I never had any food or anything, but the review is good. So probably I'm gonna go and See if I can get something to eat and just chill a little bit. Here it is. Oh, Canadian flag is up there too. Look at this guys, it is really funky. So I'm gonna sit here for a while and just rest. And you can see how far I came. So, so far guys, 11.7 kilometers. Oh. Hello.
How you doing, sir? Thank you very much. Thank you. How are you, sir? Yep. Okay, I'm ready to order. Yep. I'll have fried rice with chicken. Fried rice chicken. And this is a small beer or the big beer? Small beer. This is a small one? Okay, I'll have one Leo, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, guys, I have to have one beer. I'm a little bit excited, a little bit exhausted. So I need to relax a lot. So one beer is not going to kill me. Just one. And guess what? I can walk from here up there. Cheers guys, cheers. A lovely Leo, my favorite type here. Oh man, so I need to charge the battery. I don't have a battery because I want to have enough battery when I'm going up there. Guys, my food arrived. Just chicken fried rice. It's just like a breakfast for me now. Because in Thailand, like a lot of people eat food, like rice and stuff like that. So I got used to it now. Portion is very small but tastes good. Chili, just fresh chili. It's so good.
This is kind of breakfast for you guys. If you're traveling in Thailand, you need to have chili. That's the way it is. This was really good, man. I love chicken fried rice. It is very really safe. But the portion was very small. Okay, guys. I had my kind of brunch. So, I'm leaving. Black Rose Cafe in Mainland. It is a lovely bar. Really, I love that. <laughs> Thank you. See you soon, my friend. What is upstairs? What is upstairs? Uh, viewpoint, sea view. Oh, really? It is yeah, nice? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take you a look. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. See you soon. Hey, this is a really cool ball. Black Rose Cafe. It is end of May now, but I love that. Although the fried rice is just one of my favorite food is the fried rice because it's just safe. Uh, and usually I have fried rice everywhere. But this one, it was really good, but just the portion was very small. But overall, usually these guys making money from the view. But it was good. And also they had a Persian song to play. That was unbelievable. <laughs> so I'm heading up there and the gentleman that I was like the Oh the Barbie. Oh wow look at this guys take a look at this beautiful view. Today is a lovely day. I'm I'm sure it's going to rain crazy for next few minutes but it is so lovely up here oh mamma mia guys look at this and look at this view look at this guys I was down there Black Rose Cafe 
this is a main and main and beach one thing that I gotta say seriously and I'm very picky individual I'm extremely picky individual like small things and this is not good I'm not saying this is good and because sometimes you need to you know just relax and enjoy everything in life but overall that's my personality like small things can bother me but one thing that I gotta say <laughs> look at these two girls <laughs> so what's up <laughs> what are you guys doing <laughs> What I was saying, okay, these two girls was, well, they approached me, but both of them very drunk. So, anyway, so what I was saying, oh, shoot, my camera is supposed to change. So what I was saying, oh my God, where are these girls going? Anyway, they're going somewhere, I guess. They're not afraid. Anyway, so what I was saying, like, I'm usually like small things can, you know, bother me. And that's not good things in life. And, but what I'm saying, this island, it's just one of a kind. It's just every corner of this island is beautiful. Like every time that I'm going anywhere in this island, anywhere. Like in Mainam, Lamai, I don't know, Shuang, this, that, in regardless, it's just, I love this island. Everywhere of this island is heaven. It's just not like, you cannot say, okay, I don't like part of Kusamui. Like every part of this, this, this island is a heaven. Really, like every time that I'm traveling in Kusamui, it just drives me absolutely crazy that I really love this island. Like sometimes I'm thinking like I'm spending too much time here but the other hand is just like lovely island you know seriously is one of the best like every part of this island is beautiful really heaven on earth look at those girls like I have no clue where they're going the both of them drunk anyway
this island is a heaven on earth. I have no question about it. I have zero doubt. And probably in the end, I'm going to stay here forever. Seriously. And when I'm going to any part of this island, it just makes me more motivated to come back and stay here forever. Seriously. Like you don't need a vacation anymore. You don't need to see anywhere else. This island has everything to offer. Really. So when I was eating my brunch, and today I had one beer, but I'm going to have another one because it just, I'm really happy today. And this weather and everything else in this beach is just, I love it. So what I was saying guys, this is going to be a very long video, but guys, please watch the whole things because the point is I'm coming, you know, like I can jump on the bike, come here, show you guys one thing. For example, show you this black, you know, black uh, rose cafe and go somewhere else, you know, with the bike. And a lot of YouTubers does that, you know. But when I'm walking and picking different location, like this is not only, I'm not saying like I'm doing this only for YouTube. I'm doing it for myself too, for my inner peace, because I love it when I'm going to these kind of places. It really makes me happy when I'm walking and seeing different places. But the bottom line is, if you guys want to enjoy the whole things, like if you want to see this island, I'm doing everything in my power, walking, so showing you guys everywhere. So please watch the whole things. And if you like it, like the video. If you want, leave a comment and hopefully you can subscribe too. But the point is, if you like traveling and if you want to know this island, I'm doing my best. Like I'm walking, I'm not driving, I'm not taking bike and then go one places and show you guys 10 minutes of video and say, okay, like this is a main app. Anyway, what I'm saying is just watch the whole video. This is good for yourself. Like you can see the whole things, different places. So the view, it was fantastic up there. I'm, I'm sure you guys agree with me. And if you guys come to Mainham, come to this Black Rose, uh, Black Rose uh, Cafe because it is a lovely place. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk back. Oh, take care. The view was beautiful up there. I love that. Take care guys, bye bye. Okay. So I'm sure some of you guys know my background. I'm born in Iran, which is I'm Persian. And I was sitting there and all of a sudden I saw there is a Persian song is playing. So I went to the guy, I said, well, I have on my short video. And because I had another short video, so I don't want to upload it back to back. So I scheduled one of them for tonight at 12 a.m. So I went to the guy, I said, where did you get this Persian song? I was really shocked. He said, on YouTube. I said, do you know it is, this is Farsi. He said, yeah, 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 I know, I know. I said, where did you get it? He said, on YouTube. So this is, was one of my, sh one of the craziest things I saw. Actually, I saw a lot of things in Southeast Asia that is crazy. For example, I was in Lankavi. I was walking, I, I was, uh, no, actually I was on the bike. So, and I saw some Persian restaurant small sign you know with the persian food and stuff like that so i went there and it was closed it was another restaurant next to it it was an indian restaurant so the guy came up and says to me oh come on in come on in i said no i was just looking at the sign and he said to me i said okay this restaurant is closed he said yeah it's closed because he just comes for dinner but just come to my restaurant i said no 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 i was just looking my background is persian and I was just shocked that I see Persian restaurant middle of nowhere in Lankavi. He said, yeah, 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 the owner is Persian and he owns my restaurant too. So he owns both of them. 
but the Persian one is open uh, just for dinner. I said, oh wow. But this Persian song here, it was like unbelievable. Anyway, guys, when I was having my brunch and my lovely Leo beer, which I'm gonna grab another one. So I did uh, recharge my battery. So I have another full battery. So probably this video is going to be two hours. But since I'm leaving Kusamui, so it's going to be a long video. I hope you guys watch it. Probably it's going to be two hours. But that's the whole point. That's the whole point to see everywhere. So now I'm in Maina. So I'm going to show you guys the entrance to my previous resort when I was staying in Maina. So, so you can see the, it, it, it is a really nice resort, to be honest with you. It is nice and, the, and, and everything was nice and clean, to be honest with you. Even when I was there, but obviously I don't know your situation because I'm a gold member of booking.com and hotel.com and Aguda and whatever. So they give me even upgraded bungalow and it was really lovely really really big really really nice daily cleaning breakfast is just not really perfect but the thing is that's a standard here so you cannot expect you know really nice cheese and stuff like that so that's the way it is oh there is another muay thai uh muay thai gym is right there so this is the hotel that i was staying here this is the one that's and it's called pinnacle if I hope I didn't lost my memory, so I believe that's the one called Pinnacle. Yeah, yeah, I was right here, yeah. Pinnacle. So it is a lovely, lovely, lovely uh, uh, resort. Oh, there's a construction going on in the next to it, so I don't know what they're doing here. So there's nothing around here, this resort. So if you're planning to stay here, so obviously there's few restaurants here and that's it. There's not much going on. And there's a lot of dogs. Holy shit, I hope this dog doesn't attack me. Because some of them is just a nutcase. So there's not much around this hotel in case if one day if you decided to stay here. But that's the whole situation in Maine now. So you won't expect to have, you know, no, thank you very much. You, you, you cannot see, you know, the, the everything that you see in Schwein. But to be honest with you, this is lovely too. Oh man, I love this island. Like, especially when I'm going to different part of this island, it's just like everywhere is lovely. I don't know, I have a really good feelings when I'm here, really. I believe this island helped me with my depression. This is this is a truth. Like nowhere was making me happy as much as this island. That's why I'm stuck here. Like anywhere that I'm going, I want to come back here. Seriously. Like probably when I'm in um, what is it? When I'm going to Cambodia, probably I'm gonna miss here. It's just like. You know, you have to find your happiness. And I believe this is the happy island for me. Like, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I said this before, I'm saying it now. And you know what? This is the way I'm thinking. When you like something, you need to like the whole package. What I mean by that? Like, you cannot go somewhere and say, okay, well, I like the island, but I don't like the people because people are not friendly. But the thing is in Koh Samui, number one, people are extremely friendly and welcoming. Number two, the island is beautiful. Just every corner of this island is like this. Like, everywhere you go, you're going to love it. Beautiful beach, beautiful people, be be beautiful food. And that's the whole point. Hello. 
How are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. <laughs> so that's why everywhere that you go. Hello, how are you doing? How are you? You have a beautiful bar here. Yeah. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Hey. <laughs> Sorry? I'm I'm going back to Shuang. Yes. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna walk. Walk? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I did it. I came here from Shuang because I'm traveling and I'm making video. And a few months ago, like seven, eight months ago, I was staying at Pinnacle. Pinnacle, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I was going to Black Rose Cafe. Black Rose, my friend, my friend, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Black Rose Cafe. Yeah, I went there and I had lunch. Now I'm heading back. All right, cheers, guys. Take care. You walk? Yeah. Yeah. I walked all the way here yeah, and I'm yeah. making video. I'm making video and I walked all the way from Shuang oh, yeah. to here and I'm gonna go back. Oh, oh. Just because I'm making videos, yeah, yeah, so yeah. because I have a YouTube channel, so. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the name of your bar? Yeah? Yes. Our bar. Our bar. Okay. Yeah. If anybody comes to Mainam, Come to our bar, and these two gentlemen are live oh, lovely. Thank you. See you soon. If, if, if one day I come back to Mainland, definitely I'm gonna come here. Take care, guys. Thank you so much. Bye bye. You see, guys, you see, it's just like bloody friendly people, man. It's just unbelievable. It's just unbelievable to me. You know what is the perception in Canada? Everybody says, well, Canadian people are friendly. Hello, that's a fucking, hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> you see guys, even when you come to the local part of town, like island, you're gonna have this kind of attitude. You see what is it like the perception I was saying like everybody says Canadian are friendly fuck no who says this I spent 34 years in Canada actually 33 years no two years I'm traveling so 30 31 years or let's say 30 years no who said this I was living in one condominium for 13 years and I my floor I was an owner for 13 years and my floor it was eight units Nobody says to each other hello, you know. I had a neighbor for six, seven years, and these two nutcases was fighting on a daily basis. Wife and husband from Ottawa. And they never ever says hi to me. So who says that? But look at these people. This is a friendly country, you know. Look how they welcome me. You know, you can't go to Canada and say to the bar, you know, hello, I came to, you know, to see your bar. They're gonna show you middle finger. Anywhere, man, anywhere is like this. This is unbelievable, man. Thailand is a heaven. I'm saying this, man. I never ever saw such a friendly people. This is another bar that when, when I was here, I was coming. Oh man, it's just like this island is heaven on earth. And guess what? I said this, on my previous video don't stay in touristic area anywhere you go anywhere you can ask anybody that travels do not stay in touristic area unfortunately even me that i'm keep saying this usually 70 percent of the time hello yes no 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 seven seventy percent of the time the only thing is that annoying is just taxi bullshit. Anyway, so 70% of the time I end up in touristic area. Do not stay in touristic area. Do not. If you want to see the real culture, real people, just go to the local area. For example, here. Like how lovely people are here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> so, two people. People are one of the loveliest ones, especially when you are in local area, not the tourist area. They, 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 they really are really nice, very kind. 
So this is number two. Number three, beautiful island, you know, like really, really lovely island. Everything about this island is beautiful and lovely. Hello, how you doing, guys? Hello. How are you? Happy Monday. Cheers. Happy Monday. <laughs> so you see, everybody here is just like chilling and relax. Oh man, I just then I'm coming to this area that is not touristic. Guys, I'm walking to the beach again. Because nothing to show you guys on the main road, so there's nothing there. I'd rather to show you guys this back street in Main Ave. So there's a lot of restaurants here. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is Indian food. Oh. Guys, this is like an Indian restaurant here. Oh, or one of those restaurants that they have everything. No, it is Indian. Oh man. And you find a lot of surprises here. Let me see what is the name of this restaurant. Babu's Indian Hut. Oh man, like seems to me it is very good because this is like middle of nowhere and it was kind of a lot of people was there. So unfortunately I had food. Otherwise just remember this. Babu's, Babu's, yes, Babu's Indian hot. Seems to me it is good. Oh man. Look how much surprises. When you walk in, my friend, you're going to find this kind of places. Like I was walking on the main road, so I find out, you know, main road is nothing. Fuck all. There is nothing there. So. But look at here, man. There's a lot of bars here. Sorry. Okay, no, don't go back up to order. I can. I swear. If, if this time, I swear, if this time I come to this Kusa movie, I'm not gonna stay in Central. I'm not gonna stay in touristic area. I'm gonna stay in middle of nowhere. And, anyways, like, at least I'm renting bike. Like, three days per week so then you know, I'll rent the whole week what the hell who cares if you want to be on central or not but look, like if you're staying in one of these bungalows look how lovely it is there's a lot of foreigners likes to live in Maine this is very peaceful and people are so friendly man oh man so the next time, I don't know when I'm going to come back. <laughs> Especially when I go and find the new places, I get even more excited to come back here. So probably I'm going to come back here soon. So if I come back this time, I'm going to end up in this kind of... Look, look, there's a lot of bungalows here. Look, this is green bungalows. I, I don't know what is the name, but these people are... Even you can rent these ones for long term. You know, you can rent it for one month or two months. And you don't need to move around.
Yeah, and this way I'm gonna end up in the beach. Oh man, look, look guys, look. All these bungalows here, you see all these resorts. It's just two minutes walk to the beach. And obviously if you pay a little bit more, your bungalow is going to be the first bungalow next to the beach. So, but regardless, you don't need to, you know, again, depends, you know. If you come in for one week, obviously, but if you want to stay long term, you know, all this bungalow is just two minutes walk to the beach. Okay guys, still, I'm at Mainham Beach. I just came back to Mainham Beach and I took my shoes off again and just I'm gonna walk to the, all the way to the end of the beach because to be honest with you, Main Road doesn't have anything. So I, I'm i sure you guys are going to love this beach more than Main Road. There's pretty much nothing at the Main Road. I hope you guys can hear me. Sometimes I get some complaints that people cannot hear me, but unfortunately I don't want to scream because people looking, you know, especially when you are in touristic area, people looking at you. So I don't want to scream, but I hope you guys can hear me. Probably I'm gonna come back tomorrow, tomorrow probably I have only three more days left Probably tomorrow I'm gonna rent the bike and come back to this Babu's Babu Babu's hot Indian restaurant looks was really good and it was busy And when you see the restaurant middle of nowhere and so busy so it means their food is good Because in Shuang Central, there's few Indian restaurants and I went there and it doesn't taste like Indian food. Because these people, they're not cooking really, really Indian food because they are afraid that people cannot eat it. Too much spice or too much this, too much that. So, but I don't have a problem to eat spice. I'm not like really crazy, but I have a tolerance. Because I know some people they cannot even have a black pepper. So But today is going to rain man.
how lovely this beach is. Guys, I'm still at Mainan Beach. <coughs> so the Mainan Beach is very long. I didn't even knew that. So I'm still walking. Oh, look at this nice bungalows here. So I'm still walking. I don't know how far I can go. But I hope there is some sort of exit to the main road. Seems to be another beach club here. guys to go to the other side of the beach I have to walk through this water so, so far so good it is not too deep it's good although I'm a swimmer I'm not afraid of water just worry about my camera that's all so let's see how far I can go Oh. Oh. So far so good man Everything under control oh. I'm wondering where is the end of this beach going to take me but we're going to do it because obviously I'm not going to be here for next 2-3 months or maybe more so let's do it let's have a crazy walk and let's see everywhere that's the whole point This is some sort of oh massage place. Yeah. But I'm not interested in that. I'm interested to go to the end of this beach.
Excuse me, sir. Do you speak a little bit of English? Oh, no. Actually, no? no. You know where is the end of this beach? Where is it going to end up? Do you know where is the end of the beach? Do you know how far I can go? You don't know? Okay, never mind. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, well, I have to ask somebody else. And also, I need a cold beer. <laughs> I didn't have a drink for how many days? Six, seven days? Eight days? I guess that's enough. I can have a couple of beer. Beer doesn't count as an alcohol. So. Let's see. There's nobody here, so it's just me. And I like that. I like to find the places that nobody goes. Today probably is gonna go over my record which is like 35. I don't know. Let's see. I need 35 kilometers. Okay, the water level is coming up here, but it still is walkable. It's not that crazy. But still, I can walk. Kind of exhausted. Hello, can I ask you a question? Like, how far I can walk on the beach? Like, how far this beach goes? Like, where is the end of this beach? Do you know where is the end of the beach? How far I can go? Yes, how far I can go? Like, where is the end? Do you know where is the end? You don't understand? Okay, thank you. No worries. Thank you so much. Bye bye. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes it's so hard to ask any address here. So, and I don't blame them. You know, there is a guy with a camera and wants to go to the end of the beach. So probably these guys they don't do that. So. Again, this guy looking at me so serious, I don't know why. I'm just the guy with the camera. Some people have not kids. Really, just unbelievable. Okay. 
Okay, still going. Let me check just how many kilometers so far. Oh man. Oh, I wish I can get the cold beer. So I don't want to sit somewhere and have a drink. Just I need to walk because already it's like three o'clock. So I want to go back. So okay, guys. So far, sixteen point five kilometers. So not bad. Not really bad. My record is thirty-five. So. Not exactly 35, I guess it's 32 something. But 16.5 kilometers not supposed to be much. Again, massages. So two things that, actually three things that everywhere in Thailand. Food, massage and weed. So this is the three places that are all over the place. So this is Jamaican bar. Jamaica bar. So nobody's here. Pretty much it's closed. You know what, I want to jump in the water. After walking 16.5 kilometers, it would be lovely. But I gotta go back. I gotta go back, work on this video and upload it for you guys for tomorrow or maybe next day. She's very long. Oh, man. I don't end up somewhere that I to make my walk even longer. So technically no, not supposed to be like that, but you never know. There's another resort here. I hope you guys can see it. I don't see the name, but it looks nice. This is a very cool resort. Look at what the pool and the rooms are. Like every single room here comes with a small swimming pool for all of them. Or maybe a shared swimming pool, I don't know. Look at this one. Oh my god. Look at this cute bungalow here. Thank you. 
Oh, this place is very busy. Of the diplomat, of the politician. Oh my god, look at this. I need to find out what is the name of this town. So cute. <laughs> Did you guys see the color? Really, it was cute. Oh my god. And the restaurant there was full. So it seems to be very famous. But did you guys see the color? Yellow, green, blue, red. Oh my God, man. Okay, we almost in end of the beach. It's pretty much nobody here. So let me see. Where I am, seriously. Okay, guys, so almost on the end of this beach. Let's see. Holy macaroni. Holy shit. It is crazy. No. Oh. Oh. What is this? Oh. Okay. Oh, my crony. Oh. 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 This is a never ending beach. Oh man. This is crazy. Oh. It's just getting deeper and deeper. So, oh my God, man! I guess I can. How far I can go? I don't know. Oh. here I don't know there is some sort of resort or something here I'm so getting tired so I cannot open my mouth anymore okay, look at this Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so this gentleman was helping me with so that. Yes. Thank you so much. Cab, you're is, welcome. Is this a private villa? Um, just a new, 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 uh, new private villa. They're I making know. this year, but I don't know they are open now. Or not. Oh, okay. It is so beautiful. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, Have welcome. a nice day. Thank you again. So, guys, look at this villa. Look how lovely it is. It's just a brand new villa. 
Look at this beautiful villa. It's teeny tiny with a small swimming pool here. But it looks really beautiful. So what this gentleman was saying, if I keep walking, I'm gonna end up in Fisherman Village. So it's good. So I'm gonna keep walking until Fisherman Village. After that, probably I'm gonna go to the main road and then head back. Ah. So let me see how much battery I have. Oh guys, man, I have only like few minutes left. This video is going to be long and crazy. Probably it's going to be more than two hours. So sit back and relax. We're getting very long video. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop by somewhere and and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop by somewhere and recharge the battery again. Because otherwise I'm not gonna have enough battery. So this is the longest video I have. So it's going to be over two hours. Oh. Another lovely cafe or something here. Ooh. Oh my. Oh, look at this. I don't know, there's another villa here. I don't know what it is, but it looks beautiful. So it says private property, no trespassing. Trespassing, yes. No trespassing. Yes, sir. We won't go there. It is a private property. Oh, man, I'm exhausted. Exhausted. Oh, oh, man. Oh. It is crazy. Oh. So another resort. Yeah. Look at this guys. This is nice too. This is a famous V. V resort. Yeah guys, this is V. And I heard they have a really nice bar here. So where is it? So this is, this is the bar that we keep talking about. So this is a V resort and it seems to me it's very expensive and obviously looks nice but I'm wondering where is the where is the that famous bar that they have because I was de doing some research about most famous bars here in Kusamui one of them is a V bar but where is it I don't know maybe that teeny tiny bar was the most famous one I don't know So guys, now you are in Fisherman Village area, I guess. Still walking. So that guy says maybe there is few rocks and stuff in front of you, but still you can walk. So let's see how far I can go. Because anyway, I need to stop somewhere and recharge the battery. Because I have only a few minutes left. Oh 
but this V-bar location is fantastic. Looks really nice. It is so private. I need two things. I need a water and I need a cold beer. Let's see if we can find these two items here. Oh. It is not bad. There's few rocks here, but it is not bad. Oh. Oh. Holy macaroni. I hope I get 10,000 subscribers and 10,000 likes for this video. I hope so. Oh. Uh. Oh. Holy macaroni. Where am I? Where am I? Oh boy, it is getting more crazy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay guys, what happened was, again, I got lost and it was so exciting. Because if you remember, some guy told me that to keep walking 
and there is few stone and you can pass by and go to the fisherman village but I couldn't it was really bad so in that moment which was very exciting my battery is finished again so this video is just getting crazy this is the third time that I charge my battery and again I'm at fisherman village I'm having my I would say lunch now it is like four o'clock and guess what where I am? Again, the place that I come usually for cow soy soup. So again, let me show you my cow soy soup. Which is, this is my favorite soup on earth. Guys, it's really delicious. So it is a... So it is a noodle chicken but it's so delicious. Oh, let me fix my camera so you guys can see me. So I'm going to have my cow soy soup again. One of the best soup on earth. Jesus, here all this is being. So first what you're gonna do, you're going to squeeze your lemon. Guess what? This soup has everything, pretty much. Onion, noodles, some vegetables, chicken. Pretty much is a full meal. Just you need to, I don't know, I don't like the chicken skin. And always the chicken skin is here. So usually what I have to do to remove the chicken skin, which I don't like, so much fat. I don't know if people eating this in here, but usually nobody eats that. Guys, this is a lovely soup. You see, I'm very loyal. If you like something, I'll keep going back. So today it was really crazy man. In that moment I thought it's going to be really nice content. But unfortunately my battery is finished. Mm, I love this soup. You get everything in here. Chicken, noodles, vegetables, you name it, everything here. So I'm gonna finish my soup and end this video. I hope you guys like this video because it's going to be a crazy long video. I hope you guys watch the whole things because I went to a lot of exciting places. And probably this is the last long video in Koh Samui. So let me finish my soup and then I'm gonna end the video. Wow, man. This soup is lovely. This is the best soup ever. Let me just take this skin off so I can eat it easily. There's a whole gigantic chicken leg here. As I said, this is a full meal.
guys living around here or visiting here, come and support her because she's making fantastic soup. Trust me, it's better than anybody else. The price is unbelievable. For this gigantic soup, only 70 baht. Today I paid 120 baht for that chicken fried rice. It was teeny tiny. So look at it, how much food here. A lot of chicken and everything else, just 70 baht. I don't know why you are not busy. I don't get it. People need to know about this place. Spicy, I love it. And usually I add more spicy. Mm. Man, so sad. Again, I finished the battery. Man, it was really exciting part. When I got lost, I was in the middle of nowhere. And I didn't know how to go back. And unfortunately, battery issue again. This is a small kind of plaza and there's only few kind of restaurant here, so-called market. So please come and support her because soup is fantastic. Big portion only 70 baht. When I bought in Bangkok, I was paying for half of this 200 baht. Even when I was, when I'm here in different restaurants, like half of this chicken, half of this portion, and sometimes it's like 100, 120 baht. So come and support her because food is made like so delicious.
Okay guys, I'm going to end the video. Thank you for watching. I guess this is going to be my last long video in Koh Samui for now. Please subscribe. Sorry. Please subscribe, leave me a comment, like the video, and see you guys in the next video. Cheers guys.